Uh, the next menu in the UV tools it is selected. That menu you will not actually see if you click on any of these retopology uh, tools. So you really have to click on one of the UV tools here. While I hover, I can see the UV shells. However, I don't see them in this UV preview window. So what I need to do is actually I have to scroll down and really quickly let's click unwrap and it will drop them all into one UV square. So at the top we have different selection methods. So we have vertices, edges, polygons, and UV shells. So I'm currently at the UV shell selection uh, mode. And if I press E menu, if I go for rectangular selection tool, it kind of will not pick anything up. You actually have to use the brush tool to go and pick one by one. Or if you want to pick multiple, multiple of them, you have to go and click shift. And if you want to deselect, you go, go and press control. Otherwise, you can click clear to clear all the selection. All well invert if you want to invert the selection. You can't really sh like snap rotate the shell. So if you press shift to snap rotate, it doesn't actually do anything. It kind of freezes the shell. You have to use the rotate like clockwise, rotate uh, counterclockwise to rotate the shells. You can also flip uh, on the UV, flip on the V axis. Then we have multiple different relaxation methods. So relax, then cross relax, uh, different methods. You can just kind of go through them and read, read them. Or otherwise you can actually just go test them out, click on each one of them and see what they do. That's actually kind of more useful methods of doing it. So I cut a little strip right here and then we have a circle, right? So if you want to make it straight, you want to use the, you know, to strip command and that will get a, a straight line. However, I cannot actually force it on a bigger piece like this. So if I click here and try to make it one rectangular tool, uh, one rectangular shell, it doesn't actually work that way. The hide command will hide the whole piece of geometry out of the side. If I go invert hidden, it will invert it and unhide, unhide all the kind of self-explanatory commands. You have this expand button, but it's specifically expand hidden. So I have to hide that particular polygon and then go and expand, 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 and then click the reverse to contract, 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 and then unhide all uh, to show that little polygon piece back.